Hey everybody, what's up? It's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be my recent empties because my little Sephora bag that I use to hold my empties in is overflowing. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and record that. Let's go ahead and get into the empties. So if you're not familiar with these types of videos, basically I go through products that I have completely used up and I let you know if these are favorites of mine or if they were total fails. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first product that I have is something that I have talked about a lot in empties videos and it is the CVS Hydrating Daily Facials Cleansing Cloths. These are the dupes for the Oil of Olay Daily Facials. I absolutely love these to just do a quick wash your face. Um, I like to use them to take off my makeup at night. I absolutely love, love, love these. I have probably gone through at least 10 boxes of these. I absolutely love them. So I definitely definitely recommend them. The next thing that I went through is this Travel Size Bath & Body Works Cashmere Glow Body Wash. I actually really really like this. It's definitely more of a winter scent to me because it has like amber and that vanilla and just kind of more like that heavier kind of fall winter-ish kind of scent to it but I really really love it so I would definitely repurchase. The next thing that I did try this, I didn't completely use it up, but I did try it. And this is the Amora Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact Foundation. This actually came in my Sephora Play. And I'm not sure what this shade is. Um, it's the lighter shade. And then they had the Almond Blush shade. I didn't even really use this one because it just didn't match me at all. So I did use this one and I hated it like it was no coverage it just I mean it's nothing I mean it was watery it didn't it didn't do anything so I absolutely hated that the next thing that I went through is a candle. This is the Pumpkin Chestnut Candle, and I actually got this from Old Navy. It was right up at the counter, and I needed a certain amount to use a coupon or something, so I was like, well, I'll just grab one of these. And it was okay. Um, even now, like, you can smell it now when it's, like, close to you. But when I burned it, I didn't smell it at all. So I definitely wouldn't repurchase that. The next thing that I have went through is this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-on-1 Foundation that looks like that. I absolutely love this foundation. This is my current go-to favorite foundation at the drugstore. I absolutely love it. It's full coverage. And... I mean, it just goes on like a dream. I mean, you can apply it with a brush. You can apply it with a beauty blender. It is just so, so amazing. So if you're on the hunt for a really good foundation from the drugstore, definitely try out this one by Milani because it is amazing. The next thing that I went through is another drugstore um, product. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Brow Pencil. And the only thing I hate about these is it doesn't have the shade on the actual packaging. It's on the little box that it comes in. So once you throw away the box, you know, there's really no way to tell what the shade is. So I don't like that, but I absolutely love the product. It's what I'm using on my brows right now. I I have repurchased this at least twice um, since I went through this one. I like that it does have the little spoolie on one side and then it is retractable. I just absolutely love this. This is definitely a good dupe for the MAC brow pencils. If you've ever used those and you know like how waxy those are, these are just like that and I absolutely love these. So definitely recommend those. The next thing that I went through is this Duo Brush On Adhesive. This is the one with the green writing. Um, there's still a little bit left, but honestly, I just decided to go ahead and get rid of it because, I mean, look at it. It looks horrible. Um, and this 
has a 12 month expiration date and I'm pretty sure I've had this over a year so I was like yeah I just need to get rid of it but I absolutely love this glue it's it's just amazing like I absolutely love it I haven't had any issues with it it dries pretty fast this one does change colors so it goes on white and then when it starts to look a bluish gray kind of color that's when it's tacky and that pretty much tells me to go ahead and put my lashes on so I absolutely love 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 of this and I'll definitely repurchase it. The next thing I didn't go through, I just didn't like it. This is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly perfume that came in a Sephora play. I liked it like even smelling it now I'm like oh this smells really good but when I put it on my body it did not work with my body chemistry at all. It was horrible it actually made my head hurt when I um had it on my body it was just awful so I definitely wouldn't repurchase that the next thing that I have in here is kind of random but it is the CVS brand ultra thin pads and you know when it's that time of the month we have to have these so these are the heavy ones 16 come in a box and i really did like these um these were definitely cheaper than the always ones that i usually get so i'll definitely repurchase those the next thing that i went through is another cvs purchase this is the romance body wash from cvs Ugh, this smells so, so good. I suck at describing scents, so I can't really describe it, but it is very florally, and I really, really love this. I mean, this was super cheap, too. I think it was like $2 or $3.99, and I didn't have any issues with it, so I absolutely love that. The next thing that I went through is a sheet mask that I got in my Beautycon box. And this is the BioBell Stay Gorgeous Hydrating Mask that looks like that. Um, no issues with this. I really, really liked it. I really like trying out hydrating masks just to put moisture back into my skin at nighttime because my skin is oily. So, so during the day, I use a lot of mattifying products. So at nighttime, I like to put more like hydration into the skin just to kind of balance it out. And for those of you that don't know, if you are oily, you want to hydrate your skin because it's, if you're hydrating your skin, because if you're in the habit of hydrating your skin, you're actually tricking your skin into producing less oil. So I always try to add some hydration into my skincare routine. So I definitely like that mask. The next mask that I went through is by The Cream Shop, which is a Korean brand. And this is the Clarifying Peppermint Cocoa Sheet Mask. Oh OMG, you guys. Like, if you are not familiar with Korean skincare, like, everything... Koreans make is just amazing like they definitely know their stuff when it comes to skincare and this is infused with peppermint oil which is really really good for acne prone skin and I'm telling you guys like if you have breakouts or if you're just like me and you kind of have like chronic acne this right here is the business. I got mine from TJ Maxx. Marshalls may have these or you can find them online. They are really, really good for just clearing up your skin. Another CVS Daily Facials. You guys know I love those. The next thing that I have in here is this Bath & Body Works Wild Honeysuckle Soap, which smells so, so good. I prefer this kind of soap with the foaming beads in it, um, with the beads in it versus the foaming kind of soap. My husband likes the foaming soap, but I like these. And this is really good. I mean, no complaints. It smells really good, and I would definitely repurchase it. The next thing that I have in here is a hair product. This is the Twisted Sister Deep Defrizz Polishing Serum. Um, and so this is for natural hair. It says that it eliminates frizz, adds moisture and shine. And I absolutely loved this product when I was using it. Um, I would just rub a little bit through my hair and it would definitely keep my hair from being frizzy. And I just absolutely loved it.
The next thing that I have in here are these iPads that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are infused with vitamin C. I absolutely love these. These are my go-to um, under iPads for the moment. As you guys can tell, I do have like, I don't know what you would call these. They're not wrinkles, but I don't know. They're just these little lines underneath my eyes. And sometimes this area does get really, really puffy. So I always like to incorporate some iPads into my skincare routine just to keep the puffiness down and to help with this line. And iPads are really good too if you're going to use under eye concealer because it helps to smooth out that area and it helps your concealer to go on a lot smoother so I highly recommend those the next thing that I have in here is this Colgate cavity protection toothpaste and I actually just repurchased two of these today when I went grocery shopping I like these these are usually on sale at Walmart for like less than a dollar like 94 and 96 cents so I like it and I will definitely repurchase it this next product, I'm so sad that I have gone through because I absolutely love it. It is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. As far as drugstore skincare goes, to me, I feel like e.l.f. is just like top notch. I absolutely love it. I did not have any issues with this. I just love it. If I'm going to use a drugstore moisturizer, I would definitely go for this one because it's bomb. The next thing that I have is another Bath & Body Works product, and this is the Be Joyful Body Wash. And I absolutely love this. It smells so good. Um, it didn't leave any, like, residue or anything. This one's infused with clementine, mango, jasmine, winter melon, and sugar. And it smells so, so good. This was, like, one of their, like, holiday scents. So I don't know if this is still available, but if it is, I definitely plan on getting me some more because it's bomb. The next thing that I have in here is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Lash Primer that looks like that. This is the best lash primer, in my opinion, that you can get from the drugstore. I absolutely love it. I mean, you just put it on your lashes before your mascara, and it's just going to help your mascara go on a lot smoother. And I just absolutely love this, so I would definitely repurchase it. The next thing that I have in here is a Motives product, which if you guys don't know, I am a distributor for Motives Cosmetics. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, you guys so don't know, I am a distributor for Motives Cosmetics, so if you're interested in purchasing any Motives products, just comment below, let me know, and I can definitely get with you about like coupon codes and stuff like that. But this I went through, this is the Motives Luminous Press Powder in Light Medium. I mean, it's just basically, it's not completely translucent. It has a little bit of coverage, but not a whole, whole lot of coverage. But I do like it. It did not give me any flashback or anything when I used it. And it was just really good just to set your foundation. The only thing I will say about this, though, is as you can see, the top, of it kind of fell off um if the air hits this it will dry out really really quickly so that's the only thing I didn't like about it um and so I had to kind of like scrape off the top layer and then I you know could get the powder to work for me so that was the only thing I didn't like about it but honestly it is a really good powder as far as repurchasing it we have other powders, so I may try some other ones just to see, you know, if I like those. But, I mean, there was nothing wrong with this other than, you know, you just have to make sure that you keep the lid on it because it will dry out. The next thing that I have in here I got in my Sephora Play, and it is the Tarte Fix... Is it Frickshace? Fix... Frickshace? Frick... Friction Stick? I don't know how you say this. Tarte Friction Stick, but this is a exfoliator for your face, and it's a twist up, and it's black, and this is what it looks like when you put it on, and no matter how I tried to get this to work for me, this was horrendous. Like, 
it wasn't bad as far as you know just exfoliating the skin or whatever but I like an exfoliator that's really gonna get in there and feel like gritty on the skin because I have a lot of texture issues and when I wash this off typically with other exfoliators that I've used after I rinse it I'm like oh my gosh my skin actually feels like really good and with this one I just didn't really feel like my skin was clean afterwards so definitely wouldn't purchase that the next thing that I went through is this Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Makeup Remover Wipes. I just basically got these at CVS because they were in the dollar section and I needed some. And I was pleasantly surprised. I actually really, really did enjoy these. I had never heard of these before, but I'm glad that I got them because I really, really like them. So I would definitely repurchase those. The next thing I've talked about before, it is the Sephora... The Sephora brand Green Tea Sleeping Mask that looks like that. This is a mattifying and anti-blemish mask. And I absolutely love this mask. This is like 3 or $4 at Sephora. It's a pocket mask, so you just get... Um, about that much so you don't get a lot in here but absolutely love it you are supposed to put it on the night before and you just leave it on you don't have to like rinse it off or anything and then it dries into your skin and then when you wake up the next morning and do your makeup it's supposed to help with blemishes and it definitely keeps you matte like I can tell you it definitely keeps you matte um what I would do with it though is I actually would kind of cheat and instead of sleeping in it I would put it on for First thing in the morning after I did my skincare and just kind of let it dry and then go in with my makeup and it definitely helped keep me matte so I definitely plan on repurchasing a bunch of those. The next thing that I have is a Bath & Body Works Packet Back Warm Vanilla Sugar which is hands down my favorite favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love Warm Vanilla Sugar and I would definitely repurchase that. Okay. This hair is getting on my nerves, like, <sighs> what is the issue? Okay, the next thing that I have is another one of those pumpkin chestnut candles from Old Navy that I talked about earlier, so not repurchasing that, hated it. Um, the next thing that I have is this tart. is it Tartius or Tartiste? I'm going to say Tartiste because that sounds a little bit more bougie. The Tarte Tartiste um, liner in Latergram. And this is just a really nice nude liner and it is retractable. Um, I did like it. The color I felt like was very flesh tone for my lips. So I couldn't really tell a difference between like where I lined and then like my lipstick it just was like the same color of my lips so if I were to purchase this I would probably get a different shade but I did like it the next thing that I have is something I definitely plan on repurchasing because I absolutely love it. It is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Moisturizer. Between this one and the e.l.f. one, I actually like them both. I like this more for like daytime because it definitely makes your skin look really like nice and radiant. And I like this one for nighttime because it's more on the hydrating side. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one, but I... I would probably say this would be my favorite out of the two. The next thing that I went through is something I definitely need to go ahead and purchase another one of. And it is the Becca Ever Matte Primer. This is the little sample size one that Sephora has for like $15. This is like my ride or die mattifying primer. I absolutely love this. Like when I put this on my face, no oil, no shine is getting through. I absolutely love, love, love that. The next thing, I didn't go through this, but I just kind of wanted to get rid of it because I don't use it and I'm pretty sure it's expired at this point. And this is the NYX liner in the color Azure, which is like a blue shade. Um, very pretty shade but like I said I mean I don't really use it for whatever reason and I'm pretty sure it's expired right now so 
just decided to trash it but I would definitely repurchase it um the next thing and I actually have this in my cart online right now to repurchase and it is the clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment I absolutely love this if you have new breakouts like literally within two days they will be gone so I love this I always have this on standby just in case I have like a really bad like breakouts and stuff I can use that so love that the next thing that I went through is this Lester's Pink Shining Gem Pomade, which I like it, but it just depends on how my hair is. Like right now, my hair has keratin in it. It's straight. My edges aren't too bad, so I can get away with using this. When my hair starts to wave back up and it just becomes really like just natural <laughs> looking, I can't use this because it doesn't do anything. So I like it. It just kind of depends on how my edges are looking at the moment. The next thing, I got this in a Sephora play. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I absolutely like this. Honestly, I've never used the Urban Decay Setting Sprays before, but I really, really did like this. So I will definitely repurchase that. The next thing I have, I'm just trashing it because it's starting to dry out. It is the NYX Pigment and what is the shade? The shade is, um, I don't know what the shade is, but this is what it looks like. Really pretty color, but it's starting to dry out, so I'm just getting rid of it. And I actually did enjoy this pigment when I had it, so I would repurchase it. The next thing that I went through is a lipstick sample. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Lipstick and Ex-Girlfriend. And this is by far the best nude lipstick I have ever worn. I absolutely love this shade. And I definitely plan on repurchasing it if it's still available. Because I know it's been out for a while so I'm not sure if Sephora still sells it. But if they do I would definitely repurchase it. The next thing that I have is this Tarte Tartiste Glossy Lip Paint. And let me see if the shade is on here. Um, I don't see the shade on here, so I'm not sure. But it's just a really nice nude shade. And that is what this looks like. I just... I don't know I'm scraping the bottom of it so I was like oh, I have other nude ones I don't really need to scrape the bottom of this one I just kind of get rid of it I liked it um I mean it's just a typical nude I mean nothing special about it um if I could find it on sale or something I may repurchase it but honestly there's nothing special about it the next thing that I have in here is this Sephora Nano Lip Liner in red and as you can see I have used this jank down like girl and that is what it looks like. These have been discontinued, I believe. I don't think that Sephora sells these anymore. So, yeah. I also have in here another NYX pigment. And this is in the shade Turquoise. And it looks like that. Again, super pretty color. But it's dried out. So, I need to get rid of it. The next thing that I have is this Maybelline Master Conceal um, Camouflage and Concealer in Light. I really, really like this as far as drugstore concealers go. This is a really, really good one, and I've actually already repurchased that. The next thing that I have is this Mary Kay Satin Hands. And this is the peach one. This is the hand softener. So this kind of has that um, Vaseline kind of feel to it. And I like to put this on my, my heels just to like soften, you know, my feet and everything. And sometimes I kind of mix it in with my lotion. And I absolutely love this. So that is definitely like my go-to as far as what I use on my feet in between um, pedicures. I really, really like that. The next thing that I went through is this Bliss Hand Cream in the scent Vanilla Snowflake. I got this for Christmas and I really, really did enjoy this hand cream. Um, I would definitely repurchase it. I mean, it was a good hand cream. I liked it. 
I went through another Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil and like I said, you know, these don't have the shades on it so I'm not sure. But I've went through two. I've got two in my stash right now so obviously I like them and I would definitely repurchase them. Next, I have this Sephora lip liner, which you guys, this has been discontinued and I'm so upset about it because this shade was life to me. This shade is called Cherry Chestnut and it looks like that. I mean, I can't sharpen this anymore, but I will swatch it so you can see. So that is the shade right there. Like seriously, I've had this for so long. I know this is not sanitary at this point because I know I've had this for well over a year. But it's just such a pretty shade. I absolutely love it. And if I could find something similar to it, I would definitely use it because I love this shade. Last but not least, I have this Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer, which in the fall and winter months, I can get away with using this because I'm not like super, super oily. When it's like hot, hot, I have to use the Becca one. So I definitely would repurchase this. So yeah, you guys, that is everything that I have completely used up lately. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys!